Hi, I'm Malcolm Burrows, Principal of Dundas Lawyers. Dundas Lawyers is a firm that I've established and is an award-winning corporate technology and intellectual property law firm that also passionately litigate, litigates in these areas of practice. In this video, I'll explain trade secrets and to explain the three characteristics uh, of trade secrets and provide some examples of what are and what are not trade secrets. Trade secret is a term that's been used in businesses for decades to ensure that they have a unique product or maintain some sort of competitive advantage. Trade secrets are a type of confidential information which businesses use to keep out, um, keep out of the public domain. Of course, there are some very uh, well-known examples of a trade secret, including the formula for Coca-Cola and, of course, the Colonel's blend of special herbs and spices. Although not explicitly de defined at law, the Federal Court, in the case of Searle Australia and the Public Interest Advocacy Centre, expressed trade secrets typically have three broad characteristics. Firstly, they must be used in trade or business. Secondly, the dissemination of information that forms a trade secret must be limited. That is, it cannot be permitted or by or owner to be publicised. And thirdly, if the information was disclosed to a competitor, it would cause significant harm to the business. So what are trade secrets? Some examples of what the courts determined to have been uh, trade secrets include marketing and management information, such as customer lists, pricing information, including manufacturer's sale price, and the nature of the products sold and purchased. And of course, the classic example of trade secrets being the formula for manufactured goods like Coca-Cola and the Colonel's blend of secret herbs, special herbs and spices. Conversely, items that are not trade secrets uh, from the case law um, uh, include things like in Thomas Marshall Exports and Grinnell, it was confirmed that any information already within the public domain would not readily be considered a trade secret. In one of my favourite cases, Facienda Chicken and Fowler, it was confirmed that general skill and knowledge that a person necessarily acquires as part of their work is not a trade secret. And in Section Proprietary Limited and Delawood Proprietary Limited, it was confirmed that simple goals, purposes or possibilities can't be trade secrets either, whereas the novel achievement of them may constitute a trade secret. So what can be done to ensure that something new becomes a trade secret? Firstly, ensure that your employment agreements and supplier contracts and licence agreements have a confidential information clause which survives termination and creates an obligation of non-disclosure. Secondly, ensure that a non-disclosure deed with any potential business partners you trade trade secrets with is adequately signed and documented. And finally, for the avoidance of any doubt, make sure you mark any correspondence about trade secrets as being confidential. You need to remove doubt that anything is confidential. So if you're looking for an intellectual property lawyer who's proactive to advise on any aspects of protecting trade secrets for your business, please don't hesitate to contact me for an obligation-free confidential discussion on 3221 0013. Thanks for watching.